And now, let's add a little bit of excitement to the step. So we are still going to dance two walks, progressive link, close promenade, followed by a contra check, Spanish drag, ending in promenade position. Now we have a contra check. Contra check is a very simple step if done correctly. For the man, I am in this case aware of a separation of lower part of the body and upper part of the body. So my lower part of the bo body will just check the action. So from close position, my lower part will just check. So I have a slight rotation from my standing leg, slight rotation from standing leg, moving leg goes in position, so lifts very early, goes in position, as it goes in position, it checks my weight in between. So my weight 50-50 is good, my weight 70 is good, 80 no good, and so on and so on no good. So ideal position thinking 50-50. From here, my upper part must now have a different shape which will help Lorraine and lead Lorraine to produce the extension which we want in a contra check. So as we discussed earlier, shortening of my right side. So my back is now shortening to produce an angle which Lorraine can dance from and shape from. This is very different from actually shaping with the upper part or with the head or by lengthening my left side which still tips the body weight to the lady. So I'm actually shortening my right side. As you can see, my head actually stays in the same position. So let's see that with Lorraine. I'm starting the action from my lower part, my legs are working, and my left knee is now lifting, Lorraine is doing the same, my foot is going in position, it's going in position, so my legs are now going forward, square. Now from here, I want now to produce an extension, and I shorten my right side. So if I do that again, you can see that my head will rotate but will not change position. So the head is staying in between my two feet and the angle is changing. From here, now I'm moving my weight backwards to the foot, to the foot, going back to my vertical position. So if I dance this one more time without stopping, and good position, and control check and up. Now we're still perfectly on balance. I'm going back to connect my shoulders to my hips. I am now once more one all body. Now the rotation comes from my right leg. Rotation to my right leg. I am not extending to the left. This is the lady's job. So my job is to transfer weight from right to left and once again allow Lorraine to dance off me. So again, I am very square over my left foot, very still. Now from here, my lead for Lorraine is just a rise. So from down, I'm rising on my standing leg. As I do that, I can now slightly shorten my right side again to look over Lorraine. From this position, we change weight. As we change weight, only head action, no body action. Boom. 
and here we've arrived at the contra check for the lady as well. I feel very, very important here is that the lady must place the right leg early into the contra check. If you try and place the leg and the body together, you will pull the man over. You need desperately to make sure that the leg is in position early, yes, to receive the body weight. So I just show you that by myself before I dance with Luca. As I start the contra check here, I'm using the standing leg, which is the left leg. But the right leg must now get into position in order to now receive the body weight. There, I have a 50-50 weight position. Again, now, I can now just shorten and shape from my left side to my head position. I'll show you that now with Luca. The weight is on my left foot. I'm now going to place the right foot early to receive my body weight. Here, I now feel I'm half-half. Now I can make my extension. Now again, I'm going to transfer my weight back on to the left foot. Left foot. So here, I'm actually standing on my own foot yet again. So I'm not leaning on Luca's body. I am standing on my own. Here again, it's very important that the right leg is now moving out. This is all the lower part of the body. It's moving out to receive my body weight but the upper part of the body is staying left. Now I can feel here from the lower part of the body the leg timing when Luca wants to come out. Placing my weight onto the left foot and changing through head. We'll take that one more time without stopping and please look at the leg timing and the upper part of the body shaping. And now to the timing. Slow and slow and quick, quick. Slow, quick, quick, slow. Slow and slow. Slow, slow, slow and slow. And now let's make this step even more exciting by adding pivots and a lunge line at the end of it. Now let's talk about pivots. Pivots in tango can be very easy and very effective if we understand how to dance them. The correct positioning between man and lady, very important, so right side to right side. The correct space awareness is very important. The connection of shoulders to hips, so upper body, lower body being connected. And now dancing to the left foot. So we are putting power one time only in a pivot. And the time is when we're dancing backwards. So I will produce the power to my left foot. It will then be Lorraine. It will then be my power, and then it will be Lorraine. So on the forward step, I am very calm and allowing Lorraine to produce the weight pull, which we're looking for. I repeat, weight pull, not muscle pull, not physical pull, not arm pull, but weight pull. So we are using each other's body weight to pull the other person around us. Now let's see it in action. So 
So we are in promenade position. Upper part is locked to my hips. My legs are now leading the way. Walk, walk, rotate. Back to square position. And my foot goes in position. I'm now rotating, dancing to my right foot. Dancing to my right foot, producing the rotation. As you can see, I have my own space. Lorraine has her own space. The body has not changed the connection, so I've not produced too much rotation, or I have not, not produced enough rotation. So again, I'm vertical, shoulders connected to hips, correct angle and poise to Lorraine. I'm dancing now around Lorraine. Now, the pivot. I'm now dancing to my left foot. Pull. Now we have the lunge line, in which Lorraine is now dancing her hips, her body, to her left foot. And all I'm doing is shaping that line. So I'm not entering the line. My leg is dancing under Lorraine, and I am shaping. Now backwards, and leg, leg, rotation. Once again, I'm very square. I allow Lorraine to rotate. And close Lorraine. And chasse, pa, pa. Now drag line, we've discussed earlier, Spanish drag. And boom, again using my legs to lift the lady. Make the lady feel the change of weight. And only head. Yes, here we are in promenade position, ready to start the outside spin to the pivot with the right foot lunge. Um, Luca has spoken very much about maintaining the positioning together in order to achieve the rotation, the correct position in order to use the weight around each other. So if we go through it slowly, I shall talk about the lady's position, where she's staying in order to achieve this motion. into promenade position. Now here we're going to start the motion and we are knowing now that the man is going to cross in front of us. So we allow the man to go across in front of us. That will now change the head to a left position. So my legs have gone forward weight wise but my head position stays out. Now here I'm going to let the feet and legs move forward. I don't allow the head to come in. This will overpower the man and become a push. Leaving the head in position, let the legs and feet take position. Continuing, take position here. Now I feel I'm going to stay on the spot, but my body will rotate with Luca as he moves around me. And the foot go again goes into position. Continuing now, I'm going to prepare to use my body weight here into the lunge allowing only the head to flick, not taking my body weight and pulling it totally to the left. Here, body weight from right foot to left, head flick and diem, bum, ya, da, da. Here, the weight is stable on two feet. Head has rotated to the right, continuing. Here, we're in the closed position. I have arrived here and my weight now is on my own foot. It is on my left foot. There is no pushing in the body. We're now ready to take the Spanish drag. Place it, head flick, relax, feel, head. And now to the timing. And slow, and slow, and quick, quick. Slow, quick, quick, slow. Slow, and slow. Slow, quick, 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 quick. Slow, and quick, 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 and slow, 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 and slow. 